Hello, my name is Malik Davis, and I would like to thank everyone uh, for taking time to stop by 40 Pieces of Me. Um, today, what I am doing is creating some basic candlesticks, uh, creating them for a co-worker. Uh, she wants something to go on her dining room table. Her colors are silver and yellow um, so as you can see uh, I'll get right into it three of the things that you'll need I'm actually using the silver spray paint to spray the candlesticks and I was gonna add splashes of yellow but I'm also gonna add a like a Tiffany blue and a white just to make the colors pop um, I also have uh, just some small crystals. I went into a goodie bag that I had and I found these uh, Savorsky crystals, uh, Savorsky elements. They come uh, out of uh, Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to place those sporadically throughout it. Um, you'll need, I found these old bronze candlesticks in um, Goodwill as well as this candlestick. I went ahead and adhered um, this portion so we wouldn't take so much time. But I found this crystal candlestick. It's a larger candlestick. I found that in Goodwill as well. Uh, but you'll need the tea light candle round holders. You'll need a uh, candle plate. Uh, two candle plates. You'll need four of these. And you'll need two crystal candlesticks. Um, so basically just jumping right into it. What I did was also I have a, uh, a level because I'm uh, selling this particular item. I want to make sure that it's as perfect as I could possibly get it because it's going to my customer. Um, so the first thing that we're actually going to do, I'm going to uh, adhere are the two um tea light candle holders together because uh, I'm trying to make sure that everything is level and what made me start using a level because as I've talked about my uh, best friend before she's really not out here to play with me and crafting and all of that if she wants something she wants it to be done right and she's like i don't want my candle looking like it's gonna fall and it's just way too much with me and her if people heard our conversations you would be appalled but it is what it is 30 plus years strong so i guess it's working um yeah, so that is leveled. I just want to make sure that everything is leveled, uh, most importantly. And this is the hard part because once you stick it here, uh, you really can't go back and change it. So I try to get a feel for how it should be. So I have to work extremely fast when I get to this portion. Um, the Ciroc mirror, I am in the process of adding more, um, adding more. I went and added tile to it and it is coming along great. So we'll have that video up very very soon but I just couldn't put it up I couldn't sell it to anyone and it's not of the quality work that I do for my artwork so that's the that's what's going on with um, the Ciroc explosion so I just want everything to be leveled out hope everyone has had an absolutely wonderful um, week. My week has been going pretty good. I have been in, I don't know whether you, I mean, and I think they have it everywhere, OfferUp. I've been on OfferUp this week. I've uh, purchased a small accent table and I've purchased two end tables uh, for my living room. 
I was going to purchase a console table to go uh, by my front door as you come in my apartment. But um, something about that particular buyer, it didn't pan out. And when I went this morning, um, they weren't there. And they told me they'll be there in 40 minutes. And I just didn't feel comfortable about that situation. So I left. But I lucked out this evening because someone sold me two end tables. Uh, for $25 and when you see them you are going to go crazy so you see how that's looking in there so we're gonna spray that too um, when we get to that portion um, of course you know I'll step outside and spray it because we just can't have that on anyone's table and I did attempt to clean it up and when it dried it, it, it dried basically the same um, so we want to make sure that we are we are if we're doing something for someone that we're giving them the quality of work that we would want in in our home uh, so that's basically how that goes And after I finish this project, I have something really, really neat that I'm so excited uh, about doing a 3D uh, mirror uh, with you guys. So I'm really excited. I'm in the process of working on that. And I think you guys are really, really going to love that uh, particular project. So, we have these together. I am going to let these sit for, this one has been sitting for a while. And as you can see, it's very, very sturdy. Um, I'm starting to use Gorilla glue sticks um, when doing our projects. Um, and I'm finding that it is working much better. So, um and I would have lifted that up so we can't let it go like that because we'll end up having problems. I should have left well enough, well enough alone, uh, but we can't do that. So I am going to go back over it with the glue gun. I was gonna turn it over to add some weight to it, but it'll be fine. I can turn it over afterwards. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry a little bit. And in the meantime, with me letting it dry, I'm also going to spray. I'm finding that rust, rust oleum is my go-to paint. I still probably will, depending upon how my money is. When my coinage is not right, then I use what I can and I make it work. Um, but rust oleum is a very, very... Uh, good spray paint is working for me. Um, so I have another spray paint by Rust Oleum that I'm going to use on a project later this week. So uh, I think you guys may find that it's a go to spray paint as well. So I will be back with you shortly. Okay. As you can see, this one is completed. Um, her colors are silver and yellow. And. I was supposed to create something, so I didn't put a lot of the crystals on there, just a couple to add a pizzazz. I didn't know exactly how her dining room uh, table was, so I wanted to um, not go overboard, but just the colors, and I threw the white and the Tiffany blue in there because she doesn't have a lot going on in her dining area. So I figured maybe she could incorporate some type of arrangement or she can feed off of that because that's basically what she asked me to do is to give her something that she could actually build off of. So basically, we'll jump right into it. Everything is dry. You can see it, it wasn't perfect with the glue. 
but that doesn't make a difference because what we're going to go through and do is we're going to sand it a little. We're going to give it that weathered look. Hit the edges where the candlestick is at. That's how you really give it a weathered look. On this one, when you do it, you can see some of the brass coming through, which is it's, it's very good because I want it to look worn. The worn look goes well, especially when you're doing adding the acrylic paint. Just my opinion. May not be something that you want to do, but that's just my opinion on that. So not a lot, but then we are going to uh, add the crystals around here. And this is basically just for where you see the glue at. We want everything to look uniform. So I am going to add this to the glass. And I will get enough of attempting to use the hot glue gun without the um, bowl of ice water. I hope everyone had a wonderful day. Um, mine started out rocky, but it ended up great. I was gifted some more blessings this evening. And, um, I got the old school canisters. I don't know. Um, they were the alcohol canisters. Everybody's parents had them back in the day, and somebody blessed me with those, so I'm excited about it, because those are definitely hard to find. I'm going to do the same around here, and I may go back around here and add an extra strand. We'll just see how it looks. Oh, no, the one may be enough. And you know what? I used the wrong strand. I had cut this to fit around the bottom, but I used the wrong one. But we will still make it work. Need to do that. So I showed you guys uh, this morning uh, a couple of teasers, and in those teasers was a uh, a three D floor mi mirror. I think they call it um, apothecary is what they call it um but i came home this evening i worked on that um last night and i was really excited i am about to stab my foot oh my goodness okay so i came home this evening i stopped and picked up the things that my friend had for me and i immediately came home and got to work on that well if I finish and my guidance on um, 
on YouTube. Um, she's told me, you know, to space my videos out, and that's what I've been trying to do. But can I tell you that if I if I finish this tonight, I am going to have to post it because it is absolutely gorgeous. I am so pleased with the way that it turned out. You just cannot imagine how pleased I am with this particular project. So, I thought I had more stones over here, but I didn't. So, I'm going to have to cut a little bit more. But yeah, anyway, back to this floor mirror. I got sidetracked. I say that I can multitask, but I think I'm getting older and it just doesn't work out like it used to. But anyway, with this floor mirror, it is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm so excited um, to do the table because that is going to be just perfect uh, by the door. So now we have this done, I am going to go through with the paint and I won't do the entire paint thing. I'm just going to give you an example of how we'll do the paint. Um, as you can see, I've put paint in here. I guess this is my little go-to paint uh, box. It's really, really handy. I put some in brushed it off try to I'm just basically trying to get I'll do it in one area then I'll go to another but that's just basically what I'm going to do um, for this particular portion and then I will come back to you uh, shortly and we'll finish the remainder No rhyme or reason, just adding the white in now. The white always gives everything a pop up, makes all of the colors uh, stand out. So that was one of the reasons uh, for me using uh, the white. Okay, so now this is the finish result. Um, so basically what I did after I finished that portion, I just went through with the sandpaper once again, because I didn't want it to look like I actually just put, went through with paint on it. I wanted it to look like it was weathered in there. So I just went through with the sandpaper and just sanded it. Not a lot. Just enough to give that a worn look. And the last thing that we have to do, remember I showed you the little crystals? I'm just going to uh, throw just a little, a couple of crystals on it. Um, just enough to give it that that little shine. I'm using the E6000 uh, for those. I always just use a, a Q-tip.
So if this is a DIY that you like, um, I definitely would like for you to uh, let me know. Uh, if you recreate it, please send me pictures. Uh, my email is always in the comments. Um, my email is always down below. Okay, so this is the end result of the Dollar Tree slash Goodwill candlesticks. Uh, I really hope that my coworker uh, is pleased, that she will be pleased with them. If you see anything that I could have did better, um, I, you know, I count all um, constructive criticism I count it as a blessing so anytime you tell me something I can do better is greatly appreciated once again my name is Malik Davis if you like this DIY please hit the subscribe button please tell someone about me and remember the only way that we can fail is if we don't try and someone is going to try to convince us that we're not great at absolutely everything we do. It's up to us to prove them wrong. Thank you for stopping in at 40 Pieces of Me. I love you guys.